It's time for the Gridiron for the Gridiron Report. Call LeBlanc. Call LeBlanc. Hi, and welcome to the Gridiron Report. I'm your host, Nicole LeBlanc, and you're in for a treat today. We are in the heart of the South, my hometown, fabulous Atlanta, Georgia, for the 20th Bank of America Atlanta Football Classic. It has become one of the biggest black college football games of the year, featuring the Rattlers of Florida A&M and the Tigers of Tennessee State. These two teams have been playing for a long time, dating back to the years of Big John Merritt and Jake Gaither. And believe me, there's no love lost today. Today we'll see two fantastic bands, meet some fans, and enjoy the game. There's so much to do and see here at the Atlanta Football Classic. Let's get started. Come with me. How you doing, football fans? It's your man on the sidelines, Jake McDonald. If you thought black college football classics were just about the fanfare of the game, you couldn't have been more wrong. The Bank of America Atlanta Football Classic, presented by the 100 Black Men of Atlanta, is about football, fun, and most importantly, community. The weekend event started on Wednesday with a town hall meeting that examined the impact of childhood obesity and diabetes. Hosted by Edna and moderated by local radio personality Ryan Cameron, the panel of leading healthcare professionals and Emmy Award-nominated television host Marvin Woods provided a wealth of information on proper nutrition, the high cost of poor lunch choices in school, and remedies. Well, uh, first and foremost, I'm very passionate about what I do. I, I love food. I love being around food. And so I have kind of uh, taken on this initiative a couple of years ago. And it came out of going into urban areas, urban schools, and seeing people that look like me having this challenge of being overweight and not really knowing how to address it, not really having the choices to do something different and that's one of the things that I that I I'm advocate of education and so I go into schools and I work hard on giving folks some education so they can make better choices because if you don't know to do something different then you're going to continue to do the same thing over and over again so that's pretty much where the passion comes from on Thursday the 100 black men in conjunction with the American Cancer Society held a sneak preview of the Express the Ernie Davis story starring Rod Brown as Davis, and Dennis Quaid as legendary coach Ben Schwarzwalder. The movie covers the life of gridiron star Ernie Davis, the first African American to win the coveted Heisman. Some of the institutions we saw in the movie that have the same shot at a national championship, whether it's this year or five years from now or ten years from now, playing in first class facilities and having fans cheer and, and celebrate every move versus jeer every move. So we have come a long way. And uh, I, you know, unlike what Terrell thinks, I am old enough to remember uh, segregation, but, but young enough to enjoy uh, what opportunity has brought us all. And I think that's why all of us uh, in the 100 uh, work so hard and care so much about creating opportunity for our young people because so many have worked so hard before us to create opportunity for us. Yeah. And, you know, and as I was thinking, as the trilogy, as it was handed down from Jim Brown and handed down to Ernie and then handed down again yet again to Floyd Little what they see is what they can be and and it was it, it, the irony in Jim Brown meeting this kid and this kid quoting all his stats and then when Floyd Little met him he's quoting all his stats so what they see is what they can be and that's an inspiration for us all a host of activities, including a college career fair, a health fair, a step show, and a parade were held leading up to the game. Let's check back in with Nicole, who's out and about at the fan experience. Y'all yeah. come on over. Funk Flex on the DJ set right now. Nicole with the Gridiron Report. I'm here with the former Brave, Brian Jordan, here for the Atlanta Football Classic. What team are you rooting for today? I'm neutral. My sister went to Tennessee State, and then my wife's family is from, went to Florida A&M, so I'm kind of neutral. So I just want to really, see a good football game. That's so you really all. can't pick a team, that's right? That's right. I can't okay. pick. Okay. Can I ask you who has the better uh, band? Oh, Florida A&M Rattlers. Why? Why? All day long. Why? Oh, 
<laughs> you know, they just got too much rhythm. They got a huge band. I mean, they recruit so well. Band members, it's unbelievable. You know, being a, a former football player, I see recruits in football. It's amazing how they recruit for the band. And those guys can play. And girls. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. yes. So you're looking forward to it? I'm looking for the halftime show. I mean, because they always, you know, put on a, a great show. So I'm being a member of the 100 Black Men, we do this game every year. And, you know, it never fails. Those guys really show up and perform. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. We look forward to seeing you at the game. All right. All right. Stay tuned. We got some more tailgating coming up next. <laughs>